I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. Do you think your paper has the resources to take that on? I do. Do you? Spotlight tells the story of the Boston Globe's investigative team, which was called Spotlight, looking into allegations that the church, the Archdiocese of Boston, had actually known about uh, pedophile priests, priests who had abused, sexually abused children and adolescents, and had known for decades and had started over time to uh, possibly try to hush up the scandal by moving priests around. It's. Uh, it's an amazing film, uh, in some, but in such a great kind of old school way, but with an energy that I think will appeal to a lot of different um, audiences. Law well, had to know. That's why he had the reaction. Because he knew there were others. I think that's the bigger story. But the numbers clearly indicate that there were senior clergy involved. That's all they do, indicate. Are you telling me that, that if we run a story with 50 pedophile priests in Boston... Mike. We'll get into the same catfight you got into on Porter, which made a lot of noise, but changed things not one bit. As much as this film is about journalism and print journalism and sort of the, the important sort of duties of like what it has been called in the past, the fourth estate, uh, it also really does allow the victims to speak in interesting ways uh, without exploiting them, which I, I, I'm a big advocate for. If you're going to talk about sexual violence, um, it's important to figure out ways to um, have that conversation and ha depict that conversation, but not use it for somehow pure entertainment or titillation, which has happened, you know, has happened a lot in popular culture, both in film and on television. And somehow this movie, I think, gives voice to what is crushing, and was especially crushing, betrayal by the church in relationship to the priest and its parish and to their parishioners. You know, <clears throat> you get a lot of people here respect you, Ravi. Oh, wow. The work you do. That's good to know. You know, it's because you care about this place. Yeah. It's why you do what you do. It's who you are. <laughs> you know, people need the church more than ever right now. You know, you can feel it. And the Cardinal, uh, you know, the Cardinal, he might not be perfect. But we can't throw out all the good he's doing over a few bad apples. Now, you know, I'm bringing this up to you because I know this is Baron's idea, his agenda. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, I mean, honest to God, I mean, he doesn't care about the city the way we do. I mean, how could he? This is how it happens, isn't it, Pete? What's that? Guy leans on a guy, and suddenly the whole town just looks the other way. I think I made this movie sound like it's sort of one of those, I mean, I don't know how I could have, because it's clear that it's one of my favorites of the year. It's going to be on my top 10 list. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, that could nudge it off. I, I see what's coming, and there's still some great movies coming, but Spotlight has a place very high up on that list. That said, I think you might imagine that I'm telling you it's good for you because, first of all, I love journalism and I really believe in it. I want you to believe in it as much as I do. Um, but that's not why. I mean, this is a this is kind of an impeccably but um, not sh uh, flashy. This is a, an impeccable but not flashy movie in a lot of ways. So, I pull out the 14 most damning docs and I attach them to my motion, and they prove everything, everything about the church, about the bishops, about law. And it's all public. Because your motion to oppose Roger's motion is, is public. public. Yeah, exactly. Now you're paying attention. And so I could just walk into that courthouse right now and get those documents? No, you cannot. Because the documents are not there. But you just said they're public. I know I did. But this is Boston. And the church does not want them to be found. So they are not there. Mitch, are you telling me that the Catholic Church removed legal documents from that courthouse? Look, I'm not crazy. I'm not paranoid. I'm experienced. Check the docket. You'll see. They control everything. Spotlight pulls off something really special, and I think you can credit Tom McCarthy with that. I just think this is a director who can do something, take something so dark in so many ways, and, and 
illuminate it. And that's no pun intended. This is a movie that has a fair amount of light to it. Uh, and we should be thankful for that and, uh, and enjoy it even.